Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a little. <laughs> no matter where I go, I know where I came from. From the Bronx! Hello, best friend, and a welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, honey, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button, best friend, because listen, you have found me, girl. We have searched high and low for each other, bitch. You know, we're gonna laugh together. We're gonna be cringy together. We're gonna throw some shade together. We're gonna spill some tea together. And we're gonna be cheese mosas together, okay? So get comfortable. Put that pillow over your tummy because we gotta talk about Jennifer Lopez, Miss J Lo, okay? So there is this very talented singer. Her name is Natasha Ramos on TikTok. And she has come forward and basically said that she has. What well, her literal thing is that she sings the real voice in Jenny from the block. So I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. She is claiming that this is 90% her and she is spilling all the tea about how much money she got, about how she was allegedly, literally the voice in about four or five songs from Jennifer Lopez. So Best friend, I encourage you to go to her TikTok for all of the tea. I'm gonna play a couple clips here of like, you know, some of the highlights that I wanted to talk about, but definitely go check her out because best friend, the tea that she is spilling, I, best friend, it is giving, uh, it's giving, uh, uh, love don't cost a thing. I don't know, bitch. Anyways, check this out. All right, so I don't know what year it was, 20, I mean 20, 2001, 2002, I don't know. But I had the opportunity to sing a reference track for Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer from the blog. Uh, a, you know, a, God, a reference track for Jenny from the block, for Jennifer. A lot of people say she stole the song from me. She did not steal the song from me. That song was written for Jennifer. It was called Jenny from the block. Like, clearly it was for her. Um so I recorded it. They, you know, they shopped it to her. She loved it. She loved the background vocals. She, you know, they told me they wanted to keep me on there and they wanted me to sing background vocals on some more songs on this album. So she did go into the studio and record some background vocals over mine. Um, I am convinced that they turned her vocals all the way down because it sounds almost identical to the reference track. One thing I did not know that they were going to do until after the song was released was keep my laugh like the laugh you hear on the song that's my laugh like the laugh that you when you're watching the video and there's a laugh and she laughs in the video that's my laugh um the person saying from the bronx that's my voice and they kept an ad lib and just for the record ad libs are not background vocals ad lib is 100 percent a lead vocal so let's just leave that there for a second Okay, so in regards to the negotiation and all that stuff, I 100% take accountability for the fact that I was not well-versed in the business aspect of the music industry. Um, I was young, I was impressionable, and uh, my manager was trash, okay? My manager was just this random dude from Connecticut who happened to be really good friends with the producer that Who's, uh, whose production company I was signed to at the time. Um, but because he was so close to him and this producer like had been in the industry, I figured he knew what the heck he was doing. Um, now, I wasn't in the room for the negotiations. He came back from this meeting and he tells me, um, oh, I got you $3,500. I'm sorry, what? You do know I recorded backgrounds for five songs on this album and so he got fired that day literally I wanted to fight it I was like there's no way we have to be able to renegotiate and I remember the answer I kept getting was the contract is already signed so you can't renegotiate but 
you know, it's okay. You take the 3,500. Sometimes, sometimes you have to, you know, take less. It's for other doors to open for you. Like that's how it was sold to me. Like, yeah, you're only getting $3,500 for all this work you did. That's going to make her millions of freaking dollars. But you know, maybe for her next project, she'll reach out to you for background vocals or, you know, yada, yada, yada. And me being young, I'm like, all right, I guess like, sure. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a little. <laughs> no matter where I go, I know where I came from. From the Bronx! And yes, that is definitely me saying from the Bronx. No, I'm not from the Bronx. I'm from Connecticut, but that's my voice. That's me, that's me, that's me, me, yeah. Oh, best friend, $3,500, of course, is nothing, you know, obviously. Um, I would, you know, I. she does say that J-Lo did credit her and said thank you to her for being part of the album. I think that the music industry and, and I, you know, I think just like Hollywood in general can be very tricky. If you don't have somebody who has your best interest at heart and somebody who is there for you and wants you to do well and wants you to succeed and wants fair game for you, you're fucked. Like that's just the, you know, that's just what's going to happen. And, you know, obviously JLo has not talked about this, but there's definitely a wave of hatred towards Jennifer Lopez right now. So obviously like, you know, anyone with a story or anyone that has gone through things is going to talk right now because right now is like the time to do so. And one thing about Natasha Ramos that I've noticed is that she isn't you know, she, she doesn't, it doesn't feel like she hates JLo, you know? I haven't seen every single video, but the videos that I've seen, she just talking about her experience. And I would honestly feel like, you know, she, as she said, she, she, she got screwed over, you know, she definitely got screwed over, you know, being paid that little for, you know, and knowing that JLo is going to make millions, like that must be that must be really difficult to to you know to to process and 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 really difficult to even like you know to accept you know um i don't know best right you now there's been a lot of talk of j lo and ashanti and her vocals there's been a lot of talk about this i know that in recent years jennifer lopez has definitely heard the 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 things that people have been saying so what she's been doing is that she has been trying to sing more live and or at least it seems like she's singing more live and she is trying to, you know, to to really show her vocal skills, if you will. There's also a lot of talk that she takes vocal lessons really serious. So maybe back in the day, her voice wasn't as strong, so they needed the extra help. Um, but I just feel like, you know, I, I see a lot of support for 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 Natasha, but I'm also seeing a lot of hate for Natasha. And I just feel like, look, if it's her story to tell, there's, you know, there there is proof that she was there because in on the album, it shows her name. And, you know, I just feel like, look, it, it's her story and, and it is what it is. Of course, people are saying, well, it's great timing and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, a year ago, nobody's talking about Jennifer Lopez. So if she would have come out, it wouldn't have been, you know, a big thing. It would have just been like, okay, girl, it would have been lost in all the thousands of videos that, you know, go on, on, on TikTok. So I think it is the perfect time for her to do it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to go check out Natasha. And, you know, I feel like if you have something to say, you got to You got to speak up, baby, because closed mouths don't get fed, you know, so you got to you got to fight for what you want. But I totally understand with her, you know, being young and in the industry, not being with somebody who wants the best for you and being overwhelmed by, you know, knowing that this is your big break. You want everything to work out. So you say yes to everything. You accept everything because you're hopeful. So I totally get it. I live in L.A. too, girl. I've had my my moments as well. So anyways, what do we think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that follow. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.